Happy Halloween, Regis. <laughs> no, bad jokes. <laughs> it's I'm Christmas. grateful for stupid comedy. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all, guys. Apparently the Lion King teaser trailer just dropped. Hoorah! I'm excited to check this out, man. I'm, I'm one of those people who's been a little skeptical about him. Like, yeah, I know John Favreau's done a good Jungle Book movie. Do we really need a Lion King adaptation? But Absolutely we do. There's a lot is, they didn't achieve with that animated This film. is what great videos are made of. Disagreements. Arguments. YouTube. Let's get to it. Before we do, I wanted to say thank you. This is what I'm grateful for. Everyone has been following us on our Patreon page. Over there, we do TV show reaction, watch alongs for many shows that includes Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Gotham, Supernatural, Riverdale, John Doe's music video coverage, and we also do weekly Q and A's. That's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Let's get to this. We got family get togethers to get to. So let's, let's hurry this along, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Lion King. <laughs> Everything the light touches <laughs> is our kingdom. But a king's time is ruler who rises and falls like the sun. One day. Wow. Damn. And will rise with you as the new king. Ah, <laughs> oh, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, I'm all for it. I'm here. <laughs> Ride rock, baby. <laughs> I don't know what they say here. I don't know. I want to sing along, but I can't. <laughs> so good they got James Earl Jones. Wow. It's a real line. They really taught that line how to act. Oh, yeah. So he's a great actor, too. I've heard he's already about to star in another franchise. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be in the Wizard of Oz remake. It's going to be great. Playing the Scarecrow out here. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> really big stretch for him. All right, well, I've said it time and time again. I'm well aware <laughs> that these live-action remakes of Disney animated classics are just exactly that. They're, they're just doing 100% shot-for-shot <laughs> remakes. Shot-for-shot <laughs> remakes and for live-action. It's easy to be a cynic about it. I don't know why. I just don't tend to follow the cynical side. <laughs> Usually when I see these trailers, I'm like, oh, you know, like in, th in thought, in, in conception of like, oh god, yeah, that's, uh, that's all they do. And then oh, every time I see it, like Aladdin or whatever. I'm like, ah, the hell with it. I'm really looking forward to this. This is gonna be awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, either way you slice it, it's impressive to <laughs> yeah. behold. Especially, you look at this trailer and you're like, wow, this really is just ripped directly from those drawings. Yeah. And to see, for something like this, I mean, you know, you have Aladdin coming up as well, which is maybe a little less in this direction. I feel it's something like The Lion King and also with The Jungle Book. There is a sort of extra impressive element because they're all animals. Yeah. And that's harder to do in live action than just stay a lot of people and having maybe one CG creature like the beast or something. Yeah, like exactly. That, you know? Because uh, when you're looking at these the images, especially of like the any oh, of the yeah. animals here, other than Baby Simba. Yeah, <laughs> Baby Simba is the only thing that really looks super CGI to me. Yeah, but like. Grown-up Simba looks pretty realistic to yeah. me. You know? Yeah, well, and I mean the wildebeest stampede that they hint at for a hot second in that shot looks harrowing. Yeah, <laughs> like, it looks really intense. In the animated movie, Rafiki is my favorite character yeah. because he does martial arts. <laughs> Wise too. Yeah, he looks super serious here. <laughs> yeah, man, he's gonna be really. Maybe great. because he's portraying a real life version of that animal. You know, they all look more serious than me. They all none of them are smiling and stuff. Yeah, in real life, these kinds of apes are a lot more low key and a lot more intense. You know, yeah. a lot less friendly than in the cartoons. You know, don't buy into everything you see in the cartoons, G. I guess why this is pretty miraculous to me, going off of the point that you're making. When I heard that they're doing this, I'm like, there's no humans in here, and I feel like 
usually what makes these live adaptations cool is you're going to see real life people mm. bring this you know to life when i heard that they're doing this like it's just going to be a bunch of animated animals again in real life backdrops there is something really magical to it when you're looking at it going oh they look like real animals that's cool you yeah. know yeah and i mean talking animals <laughs> is something we've tried to do in movies for jungle a, book pulled a, it off yeah and, and we are finally getting i think to the point where we can sell that for an entire movie and it's not a cheesy gag you know because there have been a lot of movies that have attempted it for better and worse results but i feel like yeah this is kind of a feat in yeah. and of itself that's something to behold for sure. And you, know, you get teases of uh, like with the wildebeest. Uh, that I'm assuming that's the scene that occurs. Run. Uh, it's a stampede. Yeah. <laughs> that scene I, I made me cry so hard as a child. Yeah, it, is, it looks really epic. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's, it's shot for shot. To me, John Favreau's Jungle Book. I prefer that over the animated movie. So I imagine he's not only going to do a direct rip. I, I imagine he's going to bring something mm -hmm. that makes it unique. I, I find it very hard to believe you could ever top the animated movie because that's just, like, perfect. Now, uh, but, I have a question. James Earl Jones is Mufasa in the animated movie, right? Uh, yeah, now <laughs> he's playing Scar. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I got that right now. It's yes, true with Tyler Jabbar. Yes, you did. It's But I, I was sitting there going, now, did he record the same lines over again? Or did they just take his part of the original <laughs> movie and just insert it? Because you could do that, and, and the movie might not ever Depending change. Depending how direct of a rip it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm not altogether shocked that we didn't get any hints of the music, but I, I kind of wish that we got a note or, or something, because that's one of the big things I'm wondering about here, because like the Jungle Book movie had like a couple songs, you know carried yeah. over and i know that they're going to carry like four i think over from this and i'm just really curious to hear how they're going to rework them because i guess elton john came in to rework his stuff yeah with beyonce and then you have hans zimmer doing the rest of the score score so that yes. makes me wonder what this he makes <laughs> really upbeat disney music no i know he's actually done a lot of great Blah. disney films he did like pirates and stuff so yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so i mean i gotta imagine there's gonna be probably that fun adventure hans zimmer vibe with some of that um you know with some African traditional music worked in, I would hope, anyway. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I remember Beauty and the Beast, they added an original song with the Beast, mm -hmm. and that outdid everyone. <laughs> no, don't. Everyone don't. Did, did not love that. There. They did not love that. <laughs> that was not the best part it's of that Middling movie. at best. This makes me happy. I'm mm -hmm. excited to check this movie out. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm, I'm hoping this film, because it's live action, there's dark elements in The Lion King. Uh, some real dramatic, hard-hitting moments that occur that I, I won't go over specifically because in case you happen to have not seen the animated movie, <laughs> uh, there, there's some pretty dark elements in here. I don't know how full-on dark they can go with it. However, I think it would be cool to kind of push that envelope just a little bit extra in a live action version. Yeah. You know? And then have t super tonal inconsistencies with having some really funny humor with Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> <laughs> and they go really dark and serious. And then go back to the hyenas, you know? Well, what I'm really hoping for is that since this is all under the Disney umbrella, you know, that they sort of uncover at some point like a stronghold of vibranium. And then the humans <laughs> kind of, you know, come in and then Black Panther has to team up with Simba. And then there's a sequel where it's Black right. Panther and Simba together, like that's what I'm hoping happens from this. Because Africa and Wakanda and America and you know black people and it's it's great. John, don't be racist. I'm I'm such a racist. <laughs> I hate all people who aren't, all right, guys. Who aren't like me. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to play favoritism here, but I'm going to give a patron of the day shout out to a woman named Rosa Para. Rosa. Rosa, I know that you've had a, quite an interesting year this past year. I know that uh, you are a strong mother to John and I, and you kind of Thank you. are to your children, your actual blood children. But let's face it, you're a much better mom to us than you are to them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of weird that your mom has a crush on one of her sons. I mean, I mean hey, it, but it kind of weirdly fulfills John's mother issues. So, uh, Love I that guess taboo shit. I guess it works <laughs> well for you guys. But I wanted to say thank you so much for being a part of our Patreon page for so long. I know you wanted us to shout you out on a Game of Thrones related video. Nothing's dropped. I don't think anything's going to drop this month. Not for a while. But I figured this is the closest to Game of Thrones it's going to get. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Uh, I love you dearly <laughs> and I uh, hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Much love, dear. And thank you to all of watching. 
Stay safe today. If you drink and drive, make sure there's no cops on the road and uh, subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell. Be kind to your parents. Be kind to your children. Carry a knife and uh, catch you on Patreon. Take care.